Hey guys, Dakota here with ASI Network, and today I'm going to be showing you how to do a simple jumper effect in Adobe After Effects CS4 and CS5. Now open After Effects. In this tutorial we're going to be going over the simple uh, way to do it. The more extensive tutorial will be coming out later, and it's going to show you how to add a more professional look to your jumper effect. Now this way works just fine for those that don't want to have to spend a lot of time editing in front of a computer to get it just right. And uh, I would like to thank my friend over at Connor's Tutorials for first teaching me how to do this and then I incorporated my own style into it. So here's the easy way how to do it. Go to File, Import Your Footage, I'm just going to go down to this one and drag it down. Now when you drag it down here, it makes your composition size the same size as your video so that you don't have to go in and change any of the settings. Now click here and drag or you can go frame by frame, it doesn't matter to me but this is my preference until right before you come into the video. So right here go up here to edit and split layer. Now drag this layer on top of this one because it has to be masked like this. Now what you're going to need to do is go ahead and just in case duplicate this layer with control D and come down here and duplicate this layer with control D. This layer is going to help uh, mask in or hide yourself, create the jump effect and this one as well. This one is going to create the actual jump effect so come over here click on it, hit enter, and name this one jump, just so you know which one I'm talking about. This one here is going to be your background footage that plays to create a very smooth running with the video. Over here, as you can see, I don't want him to quite come in yet till right about there. So this is where this top footage comes in. Come over here and click and drag it until it's at that point then he just appears. And as you can see I got mine a little bit too far so it's easy fix just click and drag back and then about there is where I want it. Just create the simple jump effect. What you're going to do? Now you're going to come down here to the jump layer and you want to create the jump effect for about five to six frames or until you think that you want your jump effect going. For me that would be about right here. So now what we're going to do, we're going to come over here, hit alt open bracket to shave off the layer, and come to where you want the, it to finish, hit alt close bracket, it shaves the layer. Now with your jump selected, come to the top under effect and find the pin tool. Create a rough mask around your person. Now as you see this is the end. So if you wanted to, you can take it with this one and move your mask. It's really easy to edit the masks. You don't really need a big one if you're doing a simple jump effect. And you don't need to make it that in-depth, you just need to make it around him. But in this corner, like that, be sure that you drag it all the way down. Because you don't want it to be non-rippling in one corner. You just carry all these up to him if you want. Now that that's done, what you're going to do is you're going to make sure you have the jump layer selected. Open it up go into masks, then to mask 1. On mask feather, change that to 100. It creates a nice smooth blur around you to make sure that it blends really well. Next, come up here to effect. As long as make sure you have mask 1 selected. Come up here to effect, go to distort, and to ripple. Now a crosshair appear in the center of your screen. Click and drag the crosshairs to where you want the center of the ripple to be. And since 
he is jumping from a spot, I'm going to want the crosshairs to be back here. Now I'm going to do, I'm going to take the radius and drag it to 100. It creates this really cool ripple effect. And this is just the standard radius 100, height and width is 20. You can change these to your preferences. I usually like my height around 22 and my width around 22. Creates a nice cinematic look. Now it's only going to run to the end of this layer, which is why I told you to be sure you have this layer shaved or it's going to continue to be running. Now, come back to the beginning and just click play. And you should have ended up with some sort of jump effect. Right here is where you would see the ripple. Once you continue going, the ripple disappears. And that is how you create the simple jumper effect in Adobe After Effects CS4 and CS5. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any questions, just let me know. I'll be very happy to help. Well, this is Dakota with ASI Network with another tutorial. Thanks, guys, for watching.